Well, now that school is out for the summer, we can't count on weekly team man appearances. Even superheroes need some downtime. But our SWX savior couldn't turn down the opportunity to spotlight an all-star affair. So without further ado, here are his top five plays from this year's East-West Shrine game in Butte. T-Man, he's faster than an average person, powerful enough to open that stubborn jar of pickles, can leap small puddles in a single bound. Here to save the day with his top five plays, it's T-Man. T-Man. And here are my top five plays of the week. Number five. Deadlocked at zero early in the game, West had East backed up in their own territory. Gage Noor's line found himself in trouble, and Florence's Colton Rice swoops in like a falcon. Kapow! He brings a sack lunch to the end zone, and West scores first. Number four. Speaking of trouble, Patrick Duchesne found himself in some after a bad snap. But the Florence Falcon is quick on his feet and finds Hamilton's Eli Taylor in the end zone. Boom! He makes a leaping grab for a West touchdown. Number three, Belt Garrett Metrion turns villain. Rolling out of the pocket, Duchesne was looking for a big play, but instead finds a hungry Husky. Wham! A 43-yard pick, almost six for the East. Number two. The big run signal was spotted in the fourth quarter and Billing Central's Cade Boyd answered the call. Off the fake reverse, he's got a lot of green and only a few to beat. Pow! He takes it 90 yards to the house for a touchdown east. And finally, number one, to the third quarter where we find our hero of the week. Up by eight, West stopped east on fourth down and we're looking to extend their lead. Polson's Jarrett Wilson fires one to Bryce Humphrey. Kaboom! The Bulldog hauls it in for a big West touchdown. And West would go on to win the 76th annual Shrine Game. And those are my top five plays of the week. My work here is done. Until next time, hut hut hike! All right, thanks, T-Man.